All right, my friends, so I just wrapped up my 30 days of teeny teas and I did the detox series. They were so nice to send it to me, but I'm just really proud of the fact that I stuck to it for 30 days. I did miss one day of the colon tea because I have two of them still left and I'm supposed to use one tonight. But I have to say, I really, really enjoyed it. I have found myself to be more energetic, more calm, more focused in the morning. And I would also 100% say I felt less cravings. I wasn't as hungry. I usually did have a cup of coffee and some water and I kind of was good till lunchtime. Uh, I also think that has a lot to do with the fact that I've cut out sugar from my diet, um, added sugar. Sugar that happens naturally in foods is totally fine, but I have never ever felt better I have really enjoyed it. I personally have dropped some weight, but like I said, I can't attribute that to the tea. I've just been making really good choices, but I have loved it. And I will definitely be doing the 30 day detox every so often. I think it's like great after holidays or a vacation. And it's so easy to add into your lifestyle. Like making a cup of tea each morning was just so simple. And I will be going back to their products. I want to explore more of their products. Not only were they kind enough to send me that 30 day detox set, they also have given me a discount code for all of you. And you don't have to use it for the detox. If that's not your thing, that isn't everyone's thing. But there is a discount code for you to purchase anything from their website. They have wellness powders, protein powders, um, skincare, the teas. They have so many things that I'm super excited to try. But you should definitely, definitely go check them out if you're on your own health and wellness journey or if that's something that you really prioritize. What I noticed as I skimmed their website is that there was just like a lot of things that are like easily added into your lifestyle. But I love them. Everything is linked down below. Go check them out if it's something that interests you. I will tell you, I will be using them and I'm really, really pleased with the results that I felt doing the 30 day detox. But. With that, it is Wednesday and I have the day off today. I have been working a lot. Danielle actually told me like, you have to take a day where you don't do work. Um, I find that like every part of the day has just like, either I'm thinking about work or doing work or thinking about doing work. Um, but uh, today I'm taking the day off and yeah. I'm just going to see where the day takes. I'm still using the Lucy Creates or Creations with Lucy. It's an Etsy shop. I'm gonna leave her link down below. Her and I've actually chatted a couple times. She is so lovely and used to be a teacher, which you know education is a passion of mine. So um, yeah, I really love her stickers, her digital planners, everything. Um, so today you will see I didn't schedule something for every hour. I just put a big day off because I'm gonna enjoy the day. Uh, my to-do list is though, speaking of enjoying the day, sweep them off the floors, organize my office closet, work out, and read. But I mean, only two are really not fun. And then I do have a shopping list. I need to get a new food processor, some measuring tools. I actually already ordered my new bakeware, so I can go ahead and mark that off. See how you just zoom right in? And then um, I'm thinking about a new desk chair, not sure, and then some new wall art for my office. But today, pretty flexible, which is really exciting. There are also a couple things that you guys have requested. A lot of questions. Um, I had done one in a vlog so long ago as a kitchen organization video, and I have changed some of the organization up, so I thought I'd show you how I have things arranged in my kitchen. A lot of you have asked, like, how do you store your La Crusade? How do you store your pots and pans? So I thought I'd get that out of the way and show you all of that. And then also people wanted to see the finished styling of the uh, board and batten mudroom entry that I did. And then we're probably gonna hop up into my office because I've been making some changes up there. Nothing major, but just some, some little ones. But I'm going to go ahead and get off here and get ready to run to Target because like I said, I need a food processor. I had one, um, it was like a Hamilton Beach one that I bought when I first had my apartment in Charlotte, North Carolina. So it's now 16, 17 years old and 
Um, I've lost a couple of the attachments to it, but the main problem is, is that the lid, you know how it has to lock in? That tab has like broken off and you can still sometimes like finagle it in to get it to work. But I mean, I just need to bite the bullet and buy a nicer one. So I know that uh, uh, Cuisinart and KitchenAid are also carried at Target. They're a reliable brand. I thought I'd go and check them out and see if they have one in stock so I can replace my um, food processor. All right, my friends, I'm gonna go get dressed, get ready, and then we will catch up. Thought I'd share a couple things that I'm really enjoying. So I'm currently reading The Dilemma by B.A. Paris. I think it's B.A. Paris. Uh, I will leave it linked down below for you if you're interested, and I absolutely love it. It is about a family, and everyone's kind of keeping a secret from each other and trying to cover up. It's really, really good. I'm about halfway through it. I'm actually tag teaming it so I have it on my audible and I have it on my Kindle what I love about using audible and Kindle simultaneously is like if I listen in my car when I open up my Kindle it'll automatically take me to where I last listened and vice versa so that's the book I'm currently reading and as far as music I am in love with the new Dixie well no longer the Dixie chicks they dropped Dixie I'm in obsessed with the chicks new album Gaslighter there's such a raw vulnerability and honesty to it and it's a beautiful storytelling album as well and empowering it has like everything you want in a great album and I've been listening to it non-stop since it released on Friday it's it's so good it's so good you can't go wrong listen to it it will get you dancing it will make you cry it's just it's so well done I was also excited to hear that they worked with Jack Antonoff who was also behind Taylor Swift's 1989 album which was so great and also her lover album so he was one of the main producers and yeah you can hear his influence on it and it's a really really great album so we are going to get to Target we are going to maybe get some Starbucks on our way out because uh, this Target has a Starbucks in it. Well, do all Targets at this point have Starbucks in it? I'm trying to think of a Target that doesn't have a Starbucks in it. Alright, that's my question. Do all Targets have Starbucks now? I feel like everyone that's around here that's been remodeled now has a Starbucks in it. Oh well. Not a very important thought process, but what I want to try today is the cold brew with cinnamon almond milk foam. It's not super high calorie, not super sugary, uh, and I want to give it a try to see if I like it. The crosser that was in stock online wasn't there. Um, it was like a KitchenAid 7 cup one, and I want to know. Is everyone's Target so picked over? It looks like everything is out of the store. It looked like that weeks ago when my mom and I went, but like everything's gone. Like it's crazy, I don't understand. I, I just, I wonder, does everyone else's stores look like this? I don't know, like literally everything, like every food processor that they have was gone. Um, so I'm going to go to Bed Bath & Beyond, but I'm going to see if I can find like a coupon. Okay, back from Target. Um, so I ended up going to Target, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, and uh, Michael's. So at Target, I was able to find some new liquid measuring cups. I wanted a two cup and a one cup. So I was able to find those, super excited. And then I love the OXO Softworks. I have a bunch of their tools. So I replaced my measuring cups with the OXO um, Softworks. And then I got a new pastry cutter because I want to start baking more, especially thinking about the fall and all that. And I needed a good one because the one that I currently have, ignore this because this is like one of my least favorite parts of my kitchen is this bin because it's a mess. The one that I've been using is one that has wires and if you see how they're all uneven, it's because I had it in a drawer before and it kept like catching on the drawer and bending more. So this definitely needed to be replaced with one that was far sturdier. This is the 
uh, food processor I ended up going with. It is the Cuisinart 8 cup. The lady there says she has had hers for a long time and she absolutely loves it. It shreds, it slices, it purees, it chops. Open this bad boy up. And then over at Michael's, this was just a steal. These are normally $6.99 and they were 70% off so I got them for a couple bucks. And they're just some olive twigs. So grab those. All right, I'm gonna get this unboxed and take a look at it. I can already tell you that I am going to like this one. I love the fact that not only does it come with the eight cup, it also comes with a three cup and blade. So I really, really appreciate that. But um, super excited. I think eight cups is like a really, really good size. It locks into place really nicely. Yeah, I'm I'm pumped about it. Since this was asked, I thought I'd show you the finished styling of the board and batten. So if this is your first time with us, or you've missed the last couple vlogs, I actually went and just bought trim from Home Depot, cut it myself, did all the measuring, and I created this board and batten. And I knew for us, we're not super traditional, and this house is relatively traditional, so I didn't want to go with white. So I did what's called cracked pepper, um, from Bear, and I love the way it turned out. I have this little slate table, and all those accessories are just things I picked up at West Elm. Um, this pillow is from Target, and then added this little hat and little uh, Amazon Beat set, which wait for my Amazon home video because I'm sharing a lot of my favorite things, and that is one of them. And then this mirror is enormous and it's from Target. And it was only like 80 bucks, which mirrors are expensive, so that was a really good price. And then this is a McGee & Company wreath. I love Studio McGee, it's one of my favorite places. And actually, I hung it up and never took the price tag off. So the price tag is still on it. And then just have a calendar on this side and then this is one of my favorite things. This is a message board and it's just a big roll of paper. It tears off at the bottom. Lots of questions about this rug. I think I picked this up at Overstock or Home Goods somewhere. It was relatively cheap. I like a sisal rug in your mudroom because it's easy to shake out. I mean, if it gets dirty, it doesn't show, but that's how it turned out and we love it. And I mean, it just makes the space feel so, so different. And then the laundry room is still going strong with that little reno with adding the wallpaper in there. I just love how this whole space kind of connects and feels now. It just feels so right. much different. So let's do a kitchen organization video. I love watching these. You guys have requested an updated one and asked me a couple specific things that I want to answer throughout. So we're going to start here and just loop our way around. And I'm going to open drawers and just show you all of it. So on this side is kind of um, where we keep our teas. This cabinet is something I actually want to organize today. Oh, look at it. It is so disorganized and such a mess um, and it needs desperately cleaned out. So I am going to fix that up today. I promise the other cabinets do not look that bad. Um, all right, so this cabinet is where we keep all of our cords and our bricks and all of that stuff. And I keep all of these power banks. I make sure they're always fully charged. I usually charge them like once a month, make sure they're all set to go just in case the power ever went out. We need one in a hurry and we can just grab them. And then I just keep all of our cords that we need quick access to. And then I have so many power bricks, I just keep them all in there. But that is that drawer. In this drawer is where I keep all of my dish towels and my oven mitts and stuff like that that I just love to grab. Favorite dish towels right now are these geometry ones. Steven and I saw them on Good Morning America for helping small businesses and we're obsessed with them. Steven actually just bought a bunch more. And then in this amazing drawer, we have nothing except Steven's iPad holder that he props his iPad up while he eats breakfast. Above here, there's nothing too exciting except my drip coffee pot, my smaller crock pots, and then my larger crock pots. And then way in the back, I think, is my rice cooker or an Instant Pot. Whatever it is, I never use it, so not helpful. This is the other messy cabinet. This is all like the travel mug nonsense and French presses and our ember plugs and all of that, but it's just a messy, 
messy cabinet. Then this is like our little coffee station. I actually have a new coffee machine coming um, and super excited about it. It's another DeLonghi. It's just a little bit more upgraded. This is our junk drawer. Um, this is where we keep batteries, pens, scissors, all of that stuff. Normal junk drawer that everyone has. This is our coffee drawer. Once again, we just have all of the Nespresso pods thrown in here willy-nilly, no organization to it. And then here are just like K-cups, coffee filters, all of that. I think when we get the new coffee machine, all of this stuff is actually just gonna go to work and donate all these K-cups because we don't need them, nor do we have a K-cup machine to use them. Now is where like I actually have my act together. Those cabinets were atrocious. The rest are really organized. So this, the, I don't know if you can actually see, but this cabinet is actually enormous. And this was built for my cookbooks. So I have all my cookbooks in here arranged, not in any particular order, but um, they are all here. I should go through and like really organize them by like author or something because I find myself often looking for one, which is not helpful. This cabinet is my baking cabinet. So here are all my measuring tools. Here are all my like um, whisks and uh, that new pastry blender I got, cookie cutters. I don't love how this is stored, but we make it work. Then I have my three sets of mixing bowls. They're all just like nested inside each other. I love this set. It's from Martha Stewart so long ago. I've had it forever. And then this is just another set of nested bowls. And then up there I keep all of my white serving pitchers for dinners and things like that. All right, this is my drawer and this is Steven's drawer. So in here is just like my go-to every day. This is Steven's. I won't open it because I will respect his privacy. <laughs> Uh, and then in here is where I keep all of my La Creuset. People ask how I store it. I like to store it so it doesn't really hit each other and it's easy to get in and out of. So on this left hand side is where I keep all my La Creuset baking pans. I actually have a third one that is the neck, the middle size. It's just in the dishwasher. This is not La Creuset. This is a Pampered Chef stone baking set that I have here. Um, I do really like it. I just don't use it as much as I should. Then down here is where I keep my big Dutch oven along with my La Creuset pie pan in these oval casserole dishes. And then I do have some extra oatmeal and coffee syrups there because it's close to the coffee station. And then on this side is where I have my saucepan, this big pan that I use all the time, my oval cast iron cooker, and then my skillet. And then down here, I have my big La Creuset stock pot, my grill pan, which I love, uh, and this, um, I don't know what it's called. It's like a very wide Dutch oven, essentially. I use this one to cook a lot of casseroles in. So that is how I keep all of my La Creuset. Then in this cabinet is like plastic Tupperware, uh, along with my porter containers, and then just some decorative stuff up there. So I keep all of this organized. This little vase holds our straws and our like um, cocktail spoons. And then all of my lids are just stacked and organized by size in here. Then next to the stove, this is one of three utensil drawers. These are all custom build-ins, which I really like. So I just have them organized by like spatulas, um, the rubber scrapers, like specialty tools, ladles, um, wooden spoon and the whisk, my hand immersion, my temperature. This is for our Brava oven. And then my tongs are there. And then these next two very deep, I don't know if you can actually see how deep these are, but they are so huge, are baking pans. So I have like my cake pans, my scone pan, a glass pie plate, a cake pan, this bunt, and then um, a bunch of stacked loaf pans over there. I think there's like five loaf pans. And then in this bottom baking drawer, muffin tins, my cake decorating spinner, and my spring pan. So that is on this side. And then over here is like overflow or bulk spices. And I have them all organized in these. Um, these are cake decorating things and extracts. These are all my uh, masala daba spice refills. This is just like those seasoning mixes. These are like little packets of seasoning. Uh, yeah, kind of very simple. 
And then in here, this drawer is never in good shape, but this is our spice drawer. I actually need to wipe it out, but this is all built in too. Um, I don't know if you can really tell, but they each have like their own little like angled resting spot. So that is that section. This section is where I keep like my everyday like Chrissy Teigen frying pans. They're fine. I keep my cooling racks in here as well. I have another frying pan that fits in this one. And then these are just always open. I'm thinking um, I'll fill them with something eventually. In this area are, looks like a Mod Podge and a mess of things, but actually everything that is in here is custom to work in our Brava oven. You can see on the screen, it cooks. It bakes, it sears, it toasts, it reheats, it air fries, it dehydrates, it slow cooks, it just does warm. There are custom settings and recipes that you can look up. So you can just go to cook and you can do certain recipes. It will build out your grocery list for you. It's kind of incredible. Steven says that this is one of the best purchases I've made as far as kitchen appliances. And we use it multiple times a day, especially with it just being two of us. It's nice to use this sometimes over heating up the whole oven. So that drawer down there housed all of like the special pans that slide in the grooves. Also love that this doesn't have a glass door like most toaster ovens, so it stays clean. This corner cabinet just holds like my salad spinner and like these little grinders and choppers that are so old, but I still use them. And then vitamins, uh, protein powders. And then I do have some like bulk things back there like sugar in the raw kosher salt, cornstarch, those types of necessities. This isn't super organized, but very functional. So I keep all my oils and vinegars. I keep extra bulk flowers that are um, not able to fit in the canister in the pantry right now. And then our knife sharpener is down there, my favorite chopper, and then just some extra, like my air fryer is there, a snow cone machine because you just never know, and then like a milk frother and our Belletti coffee makers. This one needs to get a revamp too. This has stone baking sheets and the metal baking sheets, and I'm actually replacing all of my baking sheets, except for my stones, of course, because they're just in really rough shape, and it's time to get some new ones. So I have some ordered from Williams-Sonoma, and they should be here soon. This cabinet is our everyday dish cabinet. So these are just my favorite set of white dishes. They are at Target, I forget what they're called. And then I have like some decorative like Mackenzie Child bowls. I love those palm bowls. And then just some everyday dishes. And that's how we keep those organized. Over here is glasses and mugs. Not super organized, but it serves its purpose. Then this is just like utensils for every day. And then these knife blocks. Everyone asks where our silverware is from. It's from West Elm. We love it, we've had it for years now. This drawer is just like parchment paper, aluminum foil, wax wraps, um, some extra ramekins. Like I told you, we use them all the time. And this one, Steven got it wrong. This one has to go in the pantry. I was wondering where the sixth one was. This one is our glass Pyrex and OXO. A lot of them are in the dishwasher right now, but I just keep the lid stacked so I can easily see them and grab them. And then this last drawer is Steven's like pride and joy. These are all his travel Starbucks mugs. And those are my seasonal Ray Dunn mugs that I don't want up in the cabinet. But yeah, he's so proud of this collection. And then we get over to the island. There are so many cabinets in this kitchen. This section uh, at the top here, this is like my water bottle section along with like really large Tupperware that I didn't have anywhere for it to go. And then down here are swell bottles and plastic utensils, all my cloth napkins. My white ones are on top because I use them the most, but there's like just a bunch of like seasonal cloth napkins for dinners and things like that. This is just everyday utensils that you reach for all the time. So like my scooper that I talked about in my last um, kitchen essential video, pizza cutters, can openers, the, the basics. This is all my strainers and colanders and my steam baskets. And then down here is where I keep extra napkins, paper plates, party supplies, things that you don't have to grab very often. That is where I keep my electric fryer, my really large, 
a slow cooker, my waffle maker, and then down here is where I keep some bigger uh, electric appliances, so my Vitamix, my hand mixer, my spice grinder and my new food processor. Those are my kitchen cabinets, and then if you go over to this big shenanigans, I have wine glasses on this side and champagne flutes on that shelf, and then on this side I also have more cocktail type glasses along with a couple uh, specialty wine glasses there, and my like decanters are up there, and my wonderful from Pottery Barn recycled glass, stemless glasses that work really well for water glasses for picnics and things like that. And then I guess we'll finish up going through these. So this is Bubba's cabinet. You guys have seen us go to this all the time. He knows as soon as we open this that he's probably getting something. So extra dishes, all his medicines that he takes, and then also, because he's an old man, he needs his medicine. And then his food and treats and things like that. And then on this side, is nothing except my LecFit workout stuff, or L-E-K fit, however you wanna say it. And what is great is I usually put my trampoline right there, so I just open this cabinet as I work out and grab what I need. And in this top drawer is all my platters. You're gonna see, once again, I typically stick with white. I've had these for a long time. They were from Target a while ago, but these are all just flat platters and boards along with rechargeable puck lights that I use in a lamp that doesn't have a cord to it. And some extra coasters. And then in this one is where I keep uh, overflow cast iron Dutch oven, which is from Martha Stewart. And it's a six quarter, it's really nice. And then popcorn maker, gravy boats, cream and sugar containers, and then a bunch of all my white serving bowls, which it's just nice. And then this green uh, chicken on a nest is something that is very special to me. It was my grandmother, so I have kept it in all of my kitchens, and I like having it here. And then down here are all my wood salad bowls. They're just all nested in front of each other. Cake stands, these plates I use around Halloween because they just, they have that vibe to them. All my dessert plates, I don't have them divided, but they are stacked in sets, and they are typically like sets of four, so I think there are three sets there. And then this divider. In my pantry, I do keep some much larger white serving ware and platters along with my boost block. I keep those in here because they just work really well in this space. This pantry is like one of my favorite things because it's just so organized and you can see everything and I don't overbuy stuff because I can see what I have. And I think that's the most important for part for a pantry no matter what size. Make sure you can see everything because you will never buy extra stuff because you know what you have. So that is truly how our kitchen functions and how I like to keep things really organized. And uh, Something that's been on my to-do list was to go through all my recipes and just reorganize them in this new box that I got. And I'm going through them and I'm finding recipes that my grandma wrote me and she'd always like write me a whole note. And then also one time I remember sitting in her house and I used her notebook paper and I wrote a bunch of her recipes down that I love. So this is her sand tart recipe and it's just um, going through it. It's like making me tear up a little bit and miss her so much, but I'm so lucky. And as you guys know, I have that big um, recipe book that her and my mom put together with all of their um, recipes in it. But to go through these and find some of these with her writing on, it's just so special. And as soon as I see her handwriting, um, I don't know, it just makes me so happy. I loved her handwriting. This is her German potato salad, which is still one of my favorite things. She used to make it for me every time I'd go back and All visit. All my recipes are organized, and after I got them all organized, went to put them in the recipe box, and my recipe cards are too big. So now I am on William Sonoma's website. And I think I'm going to order this olive wood one. It's on sale. And it says it holds six inch recipe cards. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually go measure first. But I also like that it has this slot that it holds the card up. So I'm going to go measure the organized cards and make sure they fit before I buy. So I went through and made a huge bag of teas that I no longer will drink or just cannot get to. 
and um, I'm gonna take them into work so people can have them there. And then I went through and really just restocked these two copper tea bins that I have. They're from World Market. If I can find them, I'll link them down below, but I did buy them a very long time ago. And then some of my favorite teas. And then we have some local honey. And then this has like all my steepers in there. And then sweeteners are there. So I have Truvia and Stevia in the raw and then some bagged tea up there. And now that whole shelf is free. And this is all organized now. So you'll see a couple wet spots on the floor, but I just did all of our hardwoods. So they are all clean. I got that off my list. I'm gonna go to my planner. Let's see. I did change my pen color. So I did get my floor swept, organized office closet. I did read, I did get a workout in, change my pen color again. I picked up the food processor. I got the measuring tools. I still haven't found those two. How are you, sir? He's been such a good boy today while I was cleaning. He just laid so calmly. I love you. He's such a good boy. <laughs> good morning, friends. It is like 5 a.m. on Thursday and I'm awake. Uh, this is gonna become a two day vlog because yesterday I went to bed at 6.30. Actually, it might have been <laughs> closer to six and I slept through the night. I hadn't slept super great Tuesday night and woke up really early Wednesday morning and then did a lot around the house as far as like cleaning and organizing and all of those things. So I crashed after Steven got home from work and I made him dinner. I didn't even eat dinner last night. I just went to bed. <laughs> um, so I'm awake now and Steven is home today. Steven is basically doing one week on and then the other week, two days a week. So yes, this week's his two days a week. So he is home today and uh, yeah. We are going to get this day going and the first thing I need is coffee. I really, really want that cold brew coconut, uh, not coconut, cinnamon almond milk foam drink from Starbucks that I had yesterday. It was so good. It felt good to sleep. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get some coffee. We'll get this day started. There's nothing left in this house to clean or organize, so we'll see what we get. I into. ended up back in bed. <laughs> um, Steven, it's like, it's around 10 till eight and Steven just woke up and he's gonna go grab Starbucks, which is amazing. Good morning. Good morning, what is this? <gasps> so, Steven is the sweetest. He actually brought this up. I'm not gonna eat that in bed. I'm gonna head downstairs. But, this is the coffee I was telling you about. It is the Grande Cinnamon Almond Milk Foam Cold Brew. It is so good. It's so good, and the whole thing is like 40 calories, um, but it's delicious. So this is the current scene in our house. Not only did we have Starbucks, but Bubba's had Starbucks. He had the bread off of my sandwich and some of <laughs> Steven's pumpkin bread. You, you really should be embarrassed of yourself. There are, what do you always say? There are dogs scouring our trash. 75% of the world's dogs are wild, living on trash heaps and eating dung, and this dog is eating Starbucks off of white plates. He's, it, it, this is his, this is his third act. He's on his way out. So let him eat his Starbucks. He's on his way out, where's he going? A walk. I'm 13 years old. It's my third act. I'm like Jane Fonda. Did she have five acts? I think she did do five acts. Oh, DC. He has, he has two more left. <laughs> you have two, you have two more acts left. <laughs> You're the Jane Fonda of dogs. Oh, God. All right. Also, I just ran downstairs to tell Steven the most exciting news ever. What's happening today? Hey. At midnight, Taylor Swift's releasing a new album. I can't wait. I'm so excited. He is so excited because he knows what his weekend's gonna entail. No, you have expensive headphones that you can put on. <laughs> All right, I cannot wait. I might actually take a nap so I could stay up I for it. I decided that I am going to go 
gather some flowers outside and yeah just get a nice little bouquet of flowers for the weekend um i already prepped my water put two little capfuls of bleach it helps your flowers last longer cuts down on all the bacteria that can build up in that like grossness that happens this is quite the look i know this is completely from my flower garden my goal is to create like a cut garden that i can cut from and make my own fresh flower bouquets and like i'm so proud of this like it's beautiful i love how like it's a little asymmetrical a little messy but i have grown all of these myself i i'm over them so steven is ready for work steven show them your outfit of the day <laughs> when you are a lawyer and you only have to be seen from the waist up he's become like an anchor man on the news where they can wear like sweats and jeans well see and this is stretching it because Sometimes I have a sport coat on. I usually have to have a sport coat on in court, but... I really nice. like that red tie with the light blue shirt. I think you got me. I think I did get you that. Yeah. So... Look at you. All right. Is your, is your secretary ready? Yes, he's uh, ready to bark at the mailman, which already happened. Um, he sits in the background and provides... Nothing. <laughs> no, he provides uh, lighthearted moments when he sits in the back and looks out the window and falls asleep and licks himself. That's always very um, appealing for everyone watching. You're such a mess, but we love you. Yes, we do. We Good love you. morning, everybody. It is now Friday. This is becoming a three-day vlog. Um, I went to bed early last night, woke up at midnight, watched the new Taylor Swift music video for the song Cardigan, and then listened to the album like four times the whole way through. It is like a genius masterpiece of storytelling. It is so well done. And now I'm just dressed for the day and it's like 10.30. At 11.45, I'm meeting Danielle and her mom and one of our friends for lunch. Um, I'm gonna share some books with her and yeah, it's like a low key Friday today. I, like I said, I'm trying to take a couple of days off to recover. Um, did a little, actually I did a lot of work yesterday on my supposed day off. So I guess I didn't do too well yet. But today I'm gonna really try cause it's really the last day um, that I have the ability to take any time off. But um, yeah. That's the plan. Steven is out there conducting some work um, in the office and his Bubba's, Bubba's might actually, I think he's upstairs, yeah. Bubby's upstairs, he's not on his typical morning perch. Uh, that We call this his throne where he lays most of the day. So, all right, I wanna run some errands prior to lunch and then a few after lunch, so. We'll get that going. I am back from lunch. It was really nice. We sat outside for about two hours and just um, enjoyed a glass of wine and spent time together and talked and laughed and it was great. And I came home from, oddly enough, a box from Teeny. Like I said, I had such a good experience on their detox, something I'm going to add into my yearly routine. Um, that they decided to continue to work with me and they sent me some new products to try out. So I'm super excited. Like I said, I do have a discount code from Teamy. Everything is linked down below. I can only speak for the detox cause, and I did it for 30 days and I absolutely loved it and they have been so nice to work with. So I have a new little box of goodies. First thing they sent was the Beauty Butterfly Collagen. Uh, dietary supplement. I don't, it's mix one scoop of either hot or cold beverage for an extra collagen boost. You can add it to water, coffee, tea, juice, or smoothies. So I'm gonna be trying this collagen, which I've heard so many great things about collagen. Then they also sent me the Greens Superfood Blend. Super excited about this. And it says to add it to your water, juice, or smoothie, so. Um, it's 16 superfood ingredients, 100% plant-based, vegan, GMO-free, gluten-free, dairy, soy-free, made without fillers, additives, artificial flavors, artificial colors, artificial chemicals. I can't say that we've had a very productive Friday. I've gotten a lot of work done. I went to lunch, um, listened to a lot of Taylor Swift, and I would say that's about it. Oh, I don't love these glasses. 
Um, I think they're a little crooked. I need to adjust these a little bit. But um, yeah, it's been a low-key Friday. And yeah, nothing. It's been a really low key day, babe. Mm -hmm. um, we did get a new kitchen appliance. So let me go ahead and spin you around. It just came, well, it came a little bit ago and I just tasted the coffee from it and it's amazing. This is the DeLonghi Aletta Cappuccino Top Machine. So it's an automatic espresso bean to cup machine. So the beans are back here. There's a cup warmer and the top which I won't use often. I have space to pull it out more and use it when I want to. Um, and it has a milk steamer. It also has a milk canister for drinks, but I'm super excited. You can move your espresso down. It's a beautiful, beautiful machine, and I am excited to mess with it. I had uh, one cup of coffee when we first got it, and it was delicious. So that came. That's all that our Friday is that's all that's happened today. And I am going to end this here, but we'll pick up tomorrow and we'll wrap it up sometime in the afternoon and I'll get this to you by Saturday, but it's like now a four day vlog. We have covered some things. I think there are some interesting and funny tidbits throughout. I won't know until I edit. Good morning, everybody. Um, I know this is the content that you have signed up for. I am doing laundry. Um, I know, it's riveting. So, it is Saturday morning. We're on day four of this vlog because I either fall asleep really early, get distracted, or like bring no closure to it. So today's goal solely is just to somehow bring closure to today's vlog um, and get this up to you at some point this evening. Isn't that a happy sounding washer? Um, actually, I'm just going to do So that is the plan. All of that is going and now I'm super excited to make, ooh, so dark. And now I'm super excited to make coffee this morning. Yay! All right, which is great is I don't have to mess with pods or anything. And I have, I wanna do a standard cup. I will definitely get into the cappuccinos, but I love just a good standard cup of coffee. So I'm gonna do an X, you can change the size here. Short coffee, standard coffee, or long coffee. So I'm going to do a long coffee. So that was grinding the beans. Now it's tamping them. And now it should brew. And then this lets you know where you're at in the process. Like how close you are to being finished. I can smell the beans right now. Look at that. I just have to say this coffee is so good. I sometimes don't like coffee made at our house. Um, I feel like it's hit or miss for me. This is delicious. I'm so pumped. All right, friends, I have you, I have the screen down, so I don't know if I'm in focus or not, or even if I'm in the frame, but I'm gonna talk to you anyway. I planned on sending this video live yesterday, and then as the day went on, I realized today was gonna be like a decently large house project day. I have some gardening I wanna do. I wanna redo my front planters because actually some of the plants have died in them. And Stephen was like, babe, I don't know what you did. You've done such a great job with all the other plants, but like these front um, porch pots are not doing well. I just think I underestimated what time of day that the plants got light. And yeah, it just, they didn't do very well. So I want to replace that and make them look a little nicer. I might even put some things that will transition into the fall. And then the other thing that is going on is there's a big revamp restyle of my office. And I kind of want to get ahead of that before some of the furniture starts getting delivered. And I just have a different vision for what I want that space to look like. So we're going to do a little bit of that today. There's going to be some painting, um, talking through some restyle, shopping the house, things like that. So there are just big things happening today that I wanted to include in this vlog. And then to be honest, yesterday, 
I think I filmed getting my coffee ready in the morning <laughs> because nothing happened yesterday. I hung out around the house and I read and listened to Taylor Swift's album, which is so phenomenal. And then I made us dinner and I just did like homemade turkey meatballs and spaghetti. And it was, it was very simple. I also didn't feel really great last night. So that also played a role in all of this. But I am excited about today, excited to include this in this part of the vlog. And yeah, um, that's what's going on. Okay, so I am going to be making some changes to my office. If you are following me on Instagram, you saw a preview of some of the furniture pieces. A lot, which I already have, but some we're getting rid of. The main one being this couch. This was a very cheap purchase on Overstock. I think it was $179, but it's literally like falling apart. <laughs> uh, and it's time to replace it. So we splurged and got a really good couch for this space because I want to make it something I use a lot more. I'm going to be painting the walls away from this gray and warm it up and lighten it up a little bit with a cream color. And then what I decided to do, I love to paint a wall that a TV's on very dark so the TV kind of blends in. I decided to run that black wall all the way down this side and then the cream will start and wrap around the other walls, but that is what's going on. And then I think I'll update you more on what's happening in the office after I get some painting done. I have everything taped off. Let's get going. It is 537 and I am just done getting everything back together. It has been, this is one of the hardest rooms to paint because I ended up going with something called nice cream, which it's just like an off white and it took so many coats and it was just a lot. So I'm gonna turn you around, but I will talk about some of the changes that are going to be happening in the space. This is nice cream. It looks very white here in the camera, so I don't think it's gonna show up, but it definitely has like a warmth to it. So things that are changing is this coffee table is going to get switched out. It's going to be a smaller size, but this is basically what's happening. My couch is very similar to the wall color, super soft. Everyone has been talking about them and that's what's going in between these two bookshelves. It's a little bit longer, so I ended up moving the bookshelves over. And then this green chair is staying. There's a rug that's gonna switch out and it's gonna be a sisal jute rug. Um, just to add some texture to the space. To help neutralize a little bit of the office, I turned all my books the other way. So actually the paper is showing and I really like how that looks. Those pillows are gonna get changed out. The curtains are staying the same color, but a different material. And then there's some stuff happening on this wall over here eventually. Um, and then there is a brand new desk chair coming from West Elm. Super excited, it has like a high back. It's really, really cool looking. Um, that tray has to go back up on the table. But that's where we're at right now, and I'm happy with it. There's another piece of art that's gonna go right there. So, we're figuring it out. There you can kind of see with the white door and trim, the warmth that this um, pink color has, but I'm really happy with it. And I also really, really like it with this wall here. I just think it looks really cool. And yeah, I'm happy with how this space is shaping up. Like I said, there's some furniture pieces and things to switch out, but we will get there. I thought today I'd have so much time to get so many other things done, but it's just not the way it shook out. Um, I hope that you like this vlog. I hope it was just a nice escape from everything. So I'm just gonna sign off and let you guys all go. Um, thank you if you made it to the end for spending time with me and supporting the channel and being a part of this community. Uh, I never take it for granted how lucky I am to have all of you and you bring so much to my life. So I will end this like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone until next time. Bye-bye.